post-transplant, uh, the immediate issues I had with GVHD were uh, mouth ulcers, being unable to swallow, feeling sick, a uh, little bit uh, diarrhea. The only things that I had which they were still not sure were GVHD, although I think with hindsight it probably was, but just a mild uh, form, was a uh, skin rash. I was uh, sent to a skin specialist who again wasn't certain that it was GVHD, he said it probably was, and I was just given some steroid creams. In fact, yes, it wasn't just there as well, it was on my face, so I had a little bit of a, little bit of a rash on my face, but fairly, fairly low level. Um, and that's the only thing that lasted long term after the first few weeks in GVHD. I had uh, GVHD in both my mouth and my skin. So shortly after the transplant, within a few weeks, I had a slight skin rash on my face. Um, that quickly cleared up of its own accord. In fact, we weren't even sure it was GVHD at that point. They immediately put me on quite a high dosage of steroids, which was fantastic on one hand, because it got rid of all the, the symptoms. On the other hand, I couldn't sleep, but I did have lots of energy. The minute you feel anything, anything slightly unusual, call your hospital um, because GVHD can affect everyone differently and um, the skin rash it wasn't too bad with me but I have seen other patients where literally within hours it turns quite nasty. The sooner they can get on top of it the sooner they can manage it and the more tolerable it is for you. I had a very slight um, skin GVHD where my uh, my hands and feet would go bright red and feel like they were burning and my legs would swell and that was very easily managed with a bit of steroid cream and the cyclosporin was very rigorously um, evaluated on each hospital visit. When I only got the minimal GVHD, I'd start to worry that maybe my engraftment wasn't happening. And it was only when I had the first, um, the first chimera test, the chimera test when they see how much is you and how much is host. And I think that was at the end of the 100 days. It was only then that I felt like I could start to relax and believe that the process was actually working. Yeah, I just think it's really important to get any sort of symptoms checked out because GVHD can affect any area of the body. My body wasn't necessarily affected by GVHD as much as I expected it would be. The doctors at the Marsden and my key worker were quite surprised at how well I'd reacted to the transplant because the only thing that really I was affected by was dry skin. The rashes probably only lasted about a week or two. The dry skin, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm still going through it. So not every, nowhere near as severely, of course, but dry skin is always something I think I'm going to have for the rest of my life now. So that's something I'm going to have to get used to. I know it's different in everyone because of course there's other symptoms of GVHD you can get apart from dry skin and rashes but again it's only temporary and it is always deemed to be good that that's happened because it means the transplant and the effects of the transplant are working. Most days I can put it into perspective and say I'm really really fortunate but of course there are times when you just get really fed up I'd like my mouth to be normal um, and be able to eat what I want without sort of having to have a painful sore mouth, not having to take mouthwashes everywhere I go, of course. And um, I'm aware that this can affect me potentially the rest of my life. Um, I had GVHD and um, I had it all over parts of my body. So it was dry patches of skin really that you develop from from this and it was quite frightening at first because you sort of didn't know what it was because you could get it anywhere on your body and I had it I had it on my elbows on the insides of my legs the back of my legs and my neck my back and the doctors reassured me that it was not as bad as it sounds and and they gave me lots of medicine and treatment for it which was 
pretty it was pretty fine it was good it was a lot of creams and that that's that you can use so it's not a bigger deal as it may seem at first so the fact that i didn't get raft versus horse i got absolutely nothing at all uh, for some time did make me feel anxious and worried and it did worry thinking oh my god it means my transplant it hasn't worked and what does that mean and and i did think that for a that did used to come into my mind from time to time. Um, but then I would just think, well, I'm doing so well at the moment and I feel well at the moment and the doctors are telling me that everything's going to plan. So if, it's, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It doesn't mean it hasn't worked. Um, it just means it's affected me differently. 